Watch this before you discard the narcissist. The narcissist experienced abuse and neglect in their childhood. They were neglected by at least one of their parents, which then caused them to experience feelings of inferiority, guilt, shame and inadequacy. So the other parent may then overcompensate for this by telling the child that they're amazing even if they don't do anything. Or maybe the narcissist was raised by one parent and sometimes the parent was abusive while other times they spoil the narcissist. The abuse stunted the narcissist emotional development. But while they were being spoiled, it developed this false ego this delusional sense of self-importance which then made them feel very entitled. It made them feel like they deserve whatever they want because they were told they're so great. But the abuse also affected them. They feel like if they were really worth anything then why would they have to go through that? But they don't deal with shame like a normal person. Instead, they try to be better than everyone. They become very competitive. They have to win. They have to be in control so that it supports their false self, which was created in childhood. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you will eventually realize that they have no care or concern for you. They have no remorse. It's like they enjoy seeing you suffer. They want to cause you pain. They want to be the cause of your downfall because it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they're in control. It makes them feel like they're better than you. If there's anything they think you might be better than them at, they will destroy you for that. Because they have to feel superior. Which is why they're always seeking people out who have some quality or characteristic that demonstrates superiority. They're always looking for people with money, status or power. But these are also the same qualities that they will destroy you for in the end. Because they have to be better than you. Every conversation becomes a debate with a narcissist where they have to be right. They have to have the last word because they have to win, which is why they're usually the ones who discard their victims. It's only a matter of time 
until the narcissist begins to devalue the person they're with. Whatever they thought was good about you at the beginning is no longer amusing to them. Until it gets to a point where you're not worth anything to them and they treat you as something that is worth nothing by throwing you away like a piece of trash. But they will often return to the scene of the crime because they want to see you suffer. They want to confirm that they have won and you have lost and that they made the right decision by discarding you because you are nothing. When you discard the narcissist, it bruises their fragile ego. It causes a narcissistic injury because in their minds they're so great. But if you discard them, in their minds that means that they're nothing because you don't even want them anymore. They don't feel so great anymore because there's no one there to support their false ego. So now they feel nothing but shame, just as they did in their childhood. They feel like they're not worth anything. It is a life or death situation for their false self, where they will feel like they're in a fight for their lives. So they will experience narcissistic rage in an attempt to protect their false self because it's either that or they're forced to accept that they're, that, they're shame, that they're this shameful child that nobody wants. When you discard the narcissist, there's nothing to support their false self. You've stepped back and allowed it to collapse on itself. So they will want revenge. They might hoover you and act like they've realized how important you are to them, as though they can't live without you, just so you take them back and then they will discard you. Because now in their minds, they've won. They're better than you. It supports their false ego. If you choose to discard the narcissist, you need to stay no contact. Don't believe anything they say to you. Don't take them back. Especially if they have abused you. Once someone abuses you, the relationship is over because it's damaged and nothing they say or do can correct it after that because at some point you meant nothing to them they treated you like you meant nothing. So how can they treat you as anything different now? Why would they start valuing you now? When they never valued you as anything before? Even if you do move on and start doing better without them. They're only going to come back to hurt you. They're not going to have anything positive to bring to you. These are people that were taught in their childhood that they're worth nothing. So 
So how could they possibly have anything of value to bring to you? By nature, all they can do is bring you down. Which is why the only thing you can do is get rid of them. And never take them back. Because they will only try to destroy you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.